Okay, so uh, it's Carlos and uh, Jeremy Yahoo Weeps. We are discussing Matthew uh, 19, verse 26. Uh, okay, and so it says that uh, with man uh, these things are impossible, but with God all things are possible. And you had just mentioned that the word uh, thing is not in the original uh, writings. Yeah, yeah. I'll read. Um, I'll read what what the the Greek says. Yeah. Um, well, I'll read what the what. I, okay, I understand that the Greek is probably a second or third translation from the original Hebrew. That's that's it. To me, it's more likely than not that that's the case. Right. So I'm just going to go back to the Hebrew with some of the words. Um, like Yoshua, that's, I mean, his name was Yoshua. Um, it wasn't Jesus, which gets <coughs> kind of butchered and translated into Jesus, but yeah. his name was Yoshua, which means Yiway is rescue. Right. Um, so it says, Yoshua looked at them and said, um, I'm kind of translating as I go, not translating, but you know, kind of translating as I go along. Okay. Um, with men, and that would really mean people, with people, this is um, without strength or powerless or impossible. So basically impossible. Um, without strength, without strength to be able to happen. So it's impossible. Um, this is impossible. Let's see. Um, with, but with Yiwei, um, all is possible. Right, all is possible. Yeah, all is possible. So not things. There's no things involved there. It's just all is possible. But, but, but when the word all is referring to what he was talking about in verses 19, 20, 21, 22, uh, right. and, uh, and 17, and, and 18, and so on, right? Yeah, well, it's... Um, because it doesn't mean, like for instance, and with ye way all is possible that that does not mean that I can breathe underwater like a fish right well well yeah I mean the story is and he's talking to there's uh, someone someone comes up to him right and um, says teacher what must I do to gain life that stretches beyond the horizon which is basically would be eternal life but eternal isn't actually in the text it's um, in the Hebrew, it'd, it'd be olam, and it means stretching beyond the horizon. So it's it's um, it's a term that can mean eternal, but it doesn't have to. It just means time stretching beyond knowing. Mm -hmm. um, so in this in this instance, it would um, refer to eternal. It would infer eternal, but it doesn't mean eternal. It just means stretching beyond the horizon. Time out of sight. Yeah. Um, he, um, he said to him, Why do you ask me about what is good? There is only one who is good. And which one is he talking about? Yiwei the Creator. So he's not claiming to be good himself. He's saying only the Creator is good. Yeah. The Almighty. And he's not claiming to be that. That being. Because he, he talks about the Father. So just, just to clarify and when he says only one is good. But if you want to enter into life, keep the commandments. So, yeah, so I guess that's, I think that's the main uh, thing right. that, that refers to all in verse 26. Right, yeah, keeping the commandments. Yeah. Um, and I think that's his main, the main point, Yeah. is keeping the commandments. If you want to enter life, keep the commandments. And which ones, he asked. Yoshua replied, don't murder, don't commit adultery, don't steal, don't um, give false testimony, 
honor your father and your mother and love your neighbor as yourself. So all of these commandments, the one thing they have in common is doing right by people, doing right to people. And, and you know, being being loving towards people and not doing wrong to people. The young man said to him, I've wholeheartedly obeyed all these commandments. What do I still lack? Yoshua said to him, if you wish to be... Um, well, it, in the Greek it says perfect, but it, the Hebrew would be tamim, and it just means mature and complete. So, if you wish to be mature and complete, go sell your possessions and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, which is a synonym just referring to Yahweh the Creator. Yeah. So, he's basically saying, if you do this, you will have treasure with Yahweh the Creator, that Yahweh the Creator will reward you and and give you the treasure that is worthwhile then come and follow me but when the young man heard this he went away sorrowful because he was very rich then Yoshua said to his Talmudim his students I'm telling you the truth it will be hard for a rich person to enter the kingdom of heaven which and the kingdom of heaven is a, a synonym for kingdom of Yiwei the ruling of Yiwei the um so like now we're in the kingdom of of well, darkness and confusion, basically, because that's what this reality is. Yeah. But the, the kingdom of Yiwei is going to be where Yiwei is ruler, where Yiwei is the law of the land, and Yiwei is love, so love is the law of the land. Right. That's 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 Yiwei's kingdom, the kingdom of Yiwei. That's what it is. It's, it's the reality where love is the law of the land and where people operate in love and where there's no threat and there's no... Um, lack and there's no confusion love and truth prevail right. so that's you the kingdom of you it um so he says it will be hard for a rich person to enter the kingdom of heaven again i say it is easier for well here it says a camel but i i know that there's um that that might be like a misprint and it would actually be a rope so it's easier for a rope to go through the eye of a needle. I mean, it could be a camel. I've, I've heard um, teachings explaining both ways. So I'm not sure whether it's a camel or a rope. But it would seem to make more sense saying a rope. I, because most people don't put camels through needles. Yeah, but uh, I, but uh, if this is true, and I haven't uh, done the research, so I'm just going on what I've been told, is that uh -huh. The needle referred to here is a is a opening in in a wall that is yeah. that is kind of low and it's kind of like arc uh, right. shape and that's the needle that the camel would go through. Right, right, yeah. That's that's one of the things that I've heard too. But uh -huh. but I've also heard that it might be um, the rope. way the word was written. Um, it got mistranslated into the Greek, and it originally said rope. Interesting. Yeah, so, I mean, either way, it would, you know, kind of make sense, but yeah. it might be one or the other. But, I mean, if you just, like, I know when I was a kid, and I was like, a camel through the eye of a needle, what the, what the hell are you talking about, a camel through the eye of a needle? It made no sense to me. Right. Um. So it might be, I mean, it might be like you're saying, but then it also might be a rope through the eye of a needle, because... That would be a very uh, common sense way of looking at it because it, people, you know, you can put a thread through the eye of a needle, right. but if you try and put a rope through, well, that's just impossible, you know. So, right. Um, right. Anyways, that was just a side note. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Easier for a camel or rope to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. Um. The disciples were greatly astonished when they heard this and said, Then who can be saved? Yeah. Let's see, I want to, there's a note on this. I want to make sure I've got that right. Right, and I think th that's the other thing that that we need to put uh, em emphasis on. Then who can be saved? Uh, and uh, because th th they're asking, well, you know, you just talked about uh, that it's... Uh, impossible for a camel to enter through the needle and for and for a rich man 
than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of uh, Yahweh. Uh, that's that's based on if man tries to save himself, save himself through through man-made traditions and uh, right. and uh, traditions and ceremonies, but but through Yahweh, all things are possible. Well, and um, it says then who? Well, yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, but it says um, then who can be saved? And to me, it's very curious because be when they say who can be saved, mm -hmm. saved from what? Yeah. Because it doesn't say it doesn't say right here saved from what it just says who can be saved. And I know, I mean, I know there are people that have their understanding, and and they assume that it means saved from this or that, but it doesn't say. It just says who can be saved, right? And it, it could mean who can be saved from death, who can be saved from violence, who can be saved from uh, being a terrible person. I mean, there's there's all sorts of so. Uh, just kind of a side note that it just that doesn't really interesting um, say and explain right here what they meant when they said who can be saved. Right. It, it didn't explain what what they meant to be saved from. Uh huh. So, but but going on, Yeshua, or, Yeshua looked at them and replied, "Pardon?" Or saved? Okay, you. Uh, I'm sorry. You uh, use so saved uh, from, but then or saved for. Yeah, I mean, it just, it doesn't, it just says who can be saved. It doesn't say, yeah, exactly. It doesn't say saved from what or saved for what. It just doesn't say. Okay. Okay, continue. Okay. Yeshua looked at them and replied, this is impossible for, well, yeah, they have a note again. I want to make sure I'm accurately, <laughs> um, people. This is impossible for people, um, but for Yiwei, all is possible. Yeah. So so the first thing he's talking about is is keep the commandments. And then um the his students are saying if a rich person is oh that's maybe that's what it's referring to because he's saying um it will be hard for a rich person to enter into the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of Yahweh. So oh. a, a rich person yeah. to basically be good enough be righteous enough, be upright enough that they can enter into um, Yiwei's kingdom, where the, where love is the law of the land. Because you have to be, because Yiwei doesn't allow any filth or rottenness or corruption in his in his ruling, right? And where he is, he doesn't put up with that around him. I mean, he puts up with it here on earth, but in his presence, um, I think the only. I think the only ones that he puts up with it are those that he has purposed to be like Shatan, to be a vessel for that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And but for 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 us as children, um, from what I understand, if we tried to go into his presence being filthy and rotten and corrupt, we'd be obliterated. Yes, I agree. Um, so he's not going to put up with that. So. So that's what Yeshua is talking about here. Um, you have to do right and be right. And his students are going, wait, the rich can't, you mean the rich aren't able to do this? The rich aren't able to, to aren't upright and, and mature and complete? Um, and Yeshua is saying that it's almost like he's contrasting it right after they ask that. He's saying, the the rich have it extra hard. It's easier for a rope or camel, whichever, to yeah. go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to do this. Right, because 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 like it said, uh, when uh, Yeshua told the rich uh, young man to sell ev everything and 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 to follow him, it just made him sad and uh, right. I, I can't give up. He couldn't, right, he, he couldn't give up his worldly things. Right. He was more... I mean, I, I, to me, that makes sense. Why? Just being, you know, being a 
human being right. myself, but right. I mean, he had a hard time doing something that would have benefited him in the long run right? because long of run. his earthly wealth, yeah. you know, uh-huh. that was kind of holding him back in a way. So, so yeah, Yoshua is contrasting it and saying, man, it's extra hard for the rich. Um, and, and so, and then the, 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 his students go, if it's extra hard for the rich, then who's going to be able to make it? Who can do it? So I think that when it says who can be saved, it's talking about saved for, I think you're right when you were saying saved from or saved for, I think it's saved for the, the ruling of Yiwe, the kingdom of Yiwe, Yiwe's reality. Mm-hmm. Um, and Yeshua is saying, yeah, this is impossible for a human effort. Human effort is not going to cut it. I know. But but with Yiwei, all is possible. All is possible, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So I think, yeah, I think you were exactly right when you were saying, um, yeah, talking about human effort. Yeah, I, I had somebody leave me a comment on one of my vi- videos, and uh, they uh, they said all things are possible, and that means all all things and but that that that's not right because because it it doesn't even mean all things right (laughs) because if all all things without excluding anything all things if all things were possible through Yahweh then we could breathe underwater like a fish we could defy gravity we could uh, stand in a volcano and not uh, be destroyed. We could murder every single person we see. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. So and and still be good and upright and you know. Yeah. Right. So so that <laughs> so when so this uh, verse uh, twenty six is not saying every every little and every big thing is possible. It's referring right. to to what is being spoken of here about about the rich man entering the kingdom that it is impossible for man of his own will to enter the kingdom but if God interferes and enters that man's heart then he will easily give up all of his worldly wealth and 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 and, and adhere up 99% or as much as the creator is purposing him to right. ad- to adhere to the creator and to follow him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And the creator, I mean the creator makes everything happen that happens anyways, you know. Yeah. So and so if if the creator decides, so it's, you know, from hu- from the human perspective and human effort, yeah, it's not going to happen cuz cuz humans fail. I mean they hu- we're we're Humans are fallible, and I mean, actually, that's actually I think that's a really good point because there's two. Pers- I think it's talking about two perspectives. There's the human perspective, going, I have to make this happen, or I'm going to make this happen, oh. or I'm going to decide. I'm going to, I'm going to use my will to either do or not do, and that's going to be the, the decider. Or there's the perspective of Yiwei is the one that purposes all things. So if Yiwei is the one purposing all things, then anything that Yiwei decides to make happen will happen. Right. So if, if Yiwei decides for this man to to be saved, to, to, to keep the commandments and enter into the kingdom of Yiwei, enter into his reality... Well, then Yiwe will make it happen. I mean, it's, it's you know, there's no, there's no question. It's not something that's contradictory like Yiwe lying. I mean, that's, that's, that's not going to happen because that goes against the foundation of reality. You know, there's... R- r- right, right. And, that's an impossibility. And, 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 uh, and of course, this, uh, this scripture and, and that particular verse is referring to to the possibility and the impossibilities of man but not it's not referring to to the possibilities or impossibilities of Yahweh because uh, Yahweh 
cannot do ev everything, right? Well, he can do he can do everything that's like um he he may prove me wrong. Uh huh. Uh, well, actually, I, I was I just thought of I was gonna say he can't make a square circle, but if you take um if you take paper, uh -huh. paper is if you take squares of paper, I mean papers most paper is basically rectangular, but if you cut it and make it a square, yeah, and you take enough pieces of paper and stack them and then curve the stack around to itself, you've made a circle out of squares. Yes, you made a circle out of squares. But so you have a square circle. So you have a square. No, you have a circle made of squares, but <laughs> but, but it's not do, a. I mean, it's it's a it's basically like a linguistic. Um, yes. Yeah. You know, it's it's oh, I can't remember the word. Semantic, linguistic semantics. Uh huh. So, but it's it's a lingual device. You could say, well, yeah, it's a a square circle. Because it's it's square, but it's also a circle, so it's a square circle. Hmm. But it's, I mean, the con there's a concept of like taking, looking at the sh a two dimensional shape of a circle, and making that also a square at the same time, which is impossible. Right. So there's there's certain things that are impossible that you a that it's the same. I think it's the same type of thing with you a lying. Yeah. It, it goes against reality. I mean, it's like... Um, yeah, he cannot lie, and he cannot murder. Right, right. Yeah, it's impossible. To, he has no equal to murder. I know, right? It, you can only murder an equal, and he has no equal, so he can't murder. Right. So, yeah, I mean, there's, there's things that are impossible, but then those things are like a, a lie. Since a lie is not the truth, Yeah. a lie has an aspect of unreality to it. Oh, and uh, what if he tells people something that is not true since we are not his equal, he's not really lying to us by telling us something that's not true, right? That's really interesting. I'm, I'm not <laughs> sure if he, I don't think he can tell us something that's not true. Oh, okay. Uh huh. I think he can he can tell one of his messengers because I actually it says in scripture that he tells one of his messengers to go tell someone something that's not true. Okay. Yeah. Well. Well. We you, you, you and I and 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 all of humanity we've been uh, deceived. We've been uh, lied to by other right. by other people who the creator yeah. purposed those people to lie for us but they thought they were telling us the truth and we thought we were hearing the truth and we thought we knew the truth but yet we were being lied to so the creator himself never uh, told us a lie he brought the lies through us either through through spiritual beings or through other humans right Right. Yeah. Uh, yep. Okay. Exactly. Uh huh. And he. I mean, it seems kind of like backhanded. Like he's not lying, but he's sending other people to lie. You know what I mean? But it's. Um. <laughs> I mean, it's it's the same kind of thing with like evil. I think. Yeah. That he creates. You know what we what people call evil is basically dysfunction. He creates the dysfunction, but he himself doesn't commit it. You know what I mean? Right, 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 right. So, but but he create. I think I think he's the only one that's qualified to do something like that because he can see all time, so he knows exactly, and he he has all knowledge, so he can see exactly how whatever dysfunction or lies that are told, how they're going to affect what. So. No one else has that kind of insight and knowledge and um, power to be able to, and caring, and he's all caring. I mean, if you go back to who he is, he's all loving, all good, all knowing, all wise, all caring, all uh, present, all powerful. So if you go back to who he is, it, it shows that he's the only one capable of 
using evil and lies in a good way. Everyone else would not, since they don't have those qualities, they're not capable of using them in a, in a good way. Yeah. They would mess it up. Yeah. That's but he can use them for the benefit of whoever he's using them for and with. Yeah, that's true. That's very interesting how... Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know how many minutes uh, this re recording is. At, oh, yeah, yeah. But I think we <laughs> could end, end it. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, thank you, uh, Jeremy Yahoo Weeps, uh, for, for talking with me oh, thank on, you. on, on thank this particular you. Uh, matter. So, so yeah, so Matthew 19, verse 26, with man, this is impossible, but with Yahweh, all is possible. All is not possible. True. It's not referring to every everything. It's referring to the salvation of of man. That yep. that man cannot save himself by his own deeds, but that man is saved because Yahweh is going to save him. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The the two perspectives that it's not the man man's e human beings efforts perspective. It's it's Yah's efforts perspective. Great. Okay. I'm gonna turn it off. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>